Hi guys, it's Aoife from Words of Clover and I'm here to do one of my favourite videos to do every year for the Irish Readathon and that is my most anticipated Irish releases of 2024. So I have some great books lined up that I want to talk about that are on my TBR. Some of these are coming out in the next couple of months and yeah, I am so excited for these to come out and to read them. Hopefully I will read them this year and not have them still on my TBR by next year but who knows, uh, sometimes I'm really bad at actually getting to the books that I'm excited to. So yeah, but hopefully some of these will also uh, connect with you guys and you will want to read them as well and add them to your TBR. So the first book I want to talk about is one I'm so, so excited about. This is probably one of my most anticipated books for this year and I'm actually really, really lucky that I just recently got an early copy of it. This is out in March and it is Long Island by Colm Tobin. This is actually the sequel to Colm Tobin's well-known book, Brooklyn, which was did become a uh, Oscar nominated movie with Saoirse Ronan which is also a movie that I really really love but I've read Brooklyn twice now I read it once physically and once on audiobook I love both of them and I think it is just such a moving beautiful novel and it just there's something about that call of home and that feeling of homesickness and loving Ireland but being away from it that I just thought was so gorgeous in that book we're following a character called Ailish who emigrates uh, from her uh, from Ireland to New York and we see her struggle with that and then eventually have to kind of decide between her life in Ireland and and New York Um, in this book we are following Ailish 20 years later and we were seeing how she is and the decision that she made at the end of Brooklyn how she is living like 20 years later how she's feeling about those decisions and then something happens which kind of makes her kind of think back and reconsider her life in many ways and I don't want to say too much because I don't obviously want to spoil Brooklyn um, for people but this is one I'm so excited to read I will definitely be reading this during March and yeah I'm just so so excited to read this to catch up with Ailish it's so funny because um, I think it was either last, it was maybe last year or the year before that I read Brooklyn via audiobook and, or I reread it via audiobook and I had actually said I would absolutely love a sequel to it because I feel like the way it ended, I just wanted to know more. I wanted to follow on with her years later and see how she ended up to see Ailish and see if she was happy, to see if she had a family and yeah, just to see what happened to her. And um, I'm so glad they were finally getting it in this book, but I just hope that Colm Tobin doesn't break her hearts. Um with whatever way that Ailish's life has gone and yeah uh, yeah Ailish is a really special character I think and she's such a gentle gorgeous character I think a lot of people can connect to in many ways so I really hope that um, she's still doing okay in this book. Another book that's coming out is one I'm so excited about it's another one of my favourite authors and this is Long Live Evil by Sarah Reese Brennan and this one sounds really interesting this one is coming out in July it has one of the best covers I've seen on a book in a long time I've pre-ordered it and actually after I pre-ordered it there ended up being like a special Irish edition come out with like gold foiled uh, edges and I was like oh I, I was kind of trying to figure out if I could justify pre-ordering two of them but I said no just stick with the one you have um, and it'll be okay so yeah so this is one's coming out in July as I said and it is kind of a uh, I don't know whether it's adult or a YA to be honest but we are following a uh, character who's named Ray and she's all, always been a big reader and something happens where it ends up that she I don't know whether she gets into an accident or she's dying for some reason anyway and she ends up getting a chance to live a new life and she's transported into this kind of fantastical world that she's only read about obviously in her books and in this world they, there's like an emperor that's kind of ruling over the world and she ends up finding out that as she's been plonked into this world she is not like the good person that she always thought she'd be but she's actually now like the villain in this world and I think it's about her kind of adjusting to her life as being a villain and yeah she has to kind of figure things out and kind of have fun with being evil and it says here this is actually an adult fantasy so that's very exciting so it says here so be it the wicked are better dressed with better one-liners even if they're doomed to bad ends she assembles the wildly disparate villains of the story under her evil leadership plotting to change their fate but as the body count rises and the emperor's fury increases, it seems Ray and her allies, allies may not survive to see the final page. So yeah, this sounds really fun. And I love Sarah Reese Brennan's writing. Her humour is just like absolutely perfect. She always makes me laugh. She always has these amazing characters that really, really like stick with me. And um, yeah, I'm so excited for this. So, so excited.
The next book is Reality Check by Vicky Nataro. This is coming out in May. This again is one I'm quite excited about. It is a contemporary book. And in this one, this one I know is inspired by the Real Housewives reality TV shows, which to be honest, I don't watch, but I've heard a lot about them. I know they're very dramatic and I know the author herself is a very big fan. The author of this, Vicky Nataro, is an Irish journalist. She was also the editor of an Irish women's magazine for a number of years that I always read. And I follow Vicky on uh, social media platforms and stuff. So um, I kind of know some of the inspirations behind uh and like she has talked a little bit on her socials about the inspirations for this book and it's kind of made me really excited about it so in this one we were following a character called Portia Daniels who is married to an Irish man she kind of thinks that she's living this perfect life she seems to have a really good marriage a really nice home and she's really happy with her lot in life and um, her mother is a little bit messier she is like this rich housewife she's Irish born and then I think she has siblings who are also kind of like TikTok social media stars and then everything falls down for Portia when I think her marriage crumbles or something happens with her marriage and she ends up going home to her mother to like for a little bit of comfort but I think there's like loads of stuff happening in her home life as well that are is very very dramatic and I guess if anyone does watch the Real Housewives TV shows you probably know that everything in that is very dramatic so I feel like there's a lot of like obviously everything that's going to be happening in this book is probably very dramatic and over the top but also extremely entertaining and I'm really here for that and I'm very excited about it. The Amendments by Neve Mulvey is out in April so we don't have to wait too long for this book and again this is one I'm so excited for. This is a book that follows three generations of women and it's kind of focusing on pregnancy and motherhood as well as the women's rights movement in Ireland and feminism I think the wave of feminism in Ireland as well. We are following two characters who are called Nell and Adrian and we are seeing as they are I think attempting to have a child together and we are seeing how one of these characters is kind of struggling with the idea of being a parent because they have secrets from their past that they can't really talk about it they're really struggling with and then we're also uh, following I think a parent of one of these characters as well who is also someone who was kind of entrenched in the women's rights movement in Ireland and I think we're seeing these three stories kind of interspersed I'm not sure if we're going to get like a past present storyline at all but we're definitely going to be seeing things about the characters past how it's affected their future and I think how it affects maybe the relationship they all have with each other and then their relationship with their own maybe womanhood, motherhood, uh, pregnancy, all things like that um, that I'm really excited about. Ireland obviously has a very complicated history when it comes to women's rights as well as um, rights like with pregnancy, rights with your own body and I think this book kind of covers some of that or it's trying to like like touch on those, those subjects so I'm very um very much looking forward to reading it and seeing what I think because it's a kind of a buzzy book I think in like Irish circles it's one that people are quite excited to read so I am very much looking forward to uh, reading it. And then the last book I want to talk about is Hagstone by Sinead Gleeson. Uh, this is again one that I'm very excited to read. Everything about this one kind of like is ticking my boxes. This one we are following a character who is an artist and she's living on this like really rugged island and on this island as well there's also this like really uh, kind of not like read there's, I don't think there's not too much known about them but there's like this commune of women and one day this our artist character that we're following they, she ends up getting commissioned for like a piece of work for this commune and through this she ends up being like brought into this commune I think she starts learning more about them what they do what they stand for maybe and starts kind of being enveloped by them and through this she I think she kind of goes through like a journey of self-discovery and things kind of maybe fall out for her and then fall back into place I'm not really sure but it's kind of yeah she's kind of discovering herself on this island with this group of women and yeah loads of things uh, start happening to her I think I don't know whether it's like culty but if it is I'm also into it I'm kind of into commune of women but I'm also into cults of women as well um you know I'm all here for women's rights but I'm also here for women's wrongs so this could be something with that book so this could be one of those things with this book so I'm not sure but I'm very much looking forward to it. So those are some great Irish books that are coming out I'm really excited to read these and if you have any of these on your TBR I would love to know which one you're most looking forward to reading. Are there any other Irish releases that you're looking forward to I would love to know please leave them down below in the comments and thank you guys so much for watching as always. Bye!